Hello, my dear students and viewers at home. You are welcome to today's teaching online. I am Mrs. Uche Mokwe from Chemistry Department, St. Charles College of Nature. The subject for today's lesson is chemistry and the topic is electrolysis. Before we go into the topic, let us look at the specific objectives. My dear students, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to define electrolysis, draw and label a simple electrolytic cell, explain briefly the mechanisms of electrolysis, and finally, list three factors that determine the preferential discharge of ion at the electrode during electrolysis. In our previous lesson, we learned the meaning of ionic compounds, electrolytes, conductors, non-conductors, ionic theory, anode and cathode. I hope you still remember their meaning because they will help us in today's lesson. We are going to start by defining electrolysis. What is electrolysis? Electrolysis is the chemical decomposition of certain compounds in aqueous or molten state when electric current is passed through them. For example, ionic compounds contains charged particles called ion, like copper 2 chloride. Copper 2 chloride contains positively charged copper 2 ion and negatively charged chloride ion. Therefore, electrolysis is the process whereby ionic compounds are decomposed into ions when electric current is passed through them. Electrolysis occurs inside an electrolytic cell. What is electrolytic cell? Electrolytic cell is an assembly of two electrodes in an electrolyte. It is used for the electrolysis of a compound and is also known as voltammeter. My dear students, you can see the diagram on the screen. The diagram represents a simple electrolytic cell. It consists of two electrodes, the anode, which is the positively charged electrode, and the cathode, which is the negative electrode. And you can see that these two electrodes are joined to the battery with a wire. The battery is the source of electric current supply. Oxidation takes place at the anode and reduction at the cathode. Mechanisms of electrolysis. Let us know actually what happens during the process of electrolysis. For electrolysis to occur, the ions must be free to move. Ions are free to move when ionic compounds are dissolved in water, for example, copper 2 chloride. When it dissolves in water, it will break down or dissociate into copper 2 ion and chloride ion. The ions move about randomly in any direction. If electric current is passed through the molten copper 2 chloride, the ion loses their random movement. Electrolysis begins. Electrons are pumped through the anode to the cathode into the electrolyte. Positive ion, the cation, move to the cathode where they gain electron and are reduced. Negative ion, the anions, move to the anode where they lose electron and are oxidized. Factors affecting preferential discharge of ion at the electrode during electrolysis. During the process of electrolysis, the product formed at the electrode depends on the nature of the electrolyte. Where the electrolyte is, is in solution, the electrolytic product formed at the electrode may vary because the solvent, which is usually water, will also ionize as well as the electrolyte. Therefore, the cation and anion of both the electrolyte and the solvent migrate to the cathode and, and anode, respectively, where they compete with one another to be discharged. The product at the electrode depends on which of these ions that are preferentially discharged. Is this the ion from the solvent or is it the ion from the electrolyte? Therefore, there are three factors that affect 
the preferential discharge of uh, ion at the electrode in electrolysis. The factors are the first one, position of the ion in the electrochemical series. The second one is uh, concentration of the ion in the electrolyte. And lastly, the nature of the electrode. Let us look at the position of the ion in the electrochemical series. Electrochemical series is used to identify the ion that will be discharged preferentially at a particular electrode. Usually, ion lower in the series is discharged in preference to the other one higher in the series. Looking at the diagram on the screen, the diagram represents electrochemical series. It has the cation, starting from potassium ion to, cell, to gold ion, the anion from fluoride ion to hydroxide ion. For example, if we have sodium ion and hydrogen ion in a solution, hydrogen ion is discharged preferentially because hydrogen ion is lower in the series, therefore has a stronger, a stronger tendency to accept electron than sodium. Similarly, if you have hydroxide ion and terroso surfaces ion, SO42 ion, hydroxide ion is discharged preferentially because hydroxide ion is lower in the series and loses electron more easily than SO42 ion. This is because ion in the, in ions lower in the series requires less energy than those ones on top of the series. The second factor we are going to look at is concentration of ion in the electrolyte. If the concentration of a given ion is increased, it tends to promote its discharge from the solution. For example, in the electrolysis of dilute sodium chloride solution, sodium chloride is ionized into sodium ion and chloride ion. The water, which is the solvent, will ionize into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. At the, at the anode, the ions present are chloride ion and hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion is discharged in preference to chloride ion because of the position of hydroxide ion in the series. Then, at the cathode, the ions present are sodium ion and hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion is discharged in preference to sodium ion because it is lower in the series. But in the electrolysis of brine, brine is concentrated solution of sodium chloride. Again, the sodium chloride ionized into sodium ion and chloride ion. The water, which is the solvent, will also ionize into hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. At the anode, the ion present are chloride ion and hydroxide ion. And because chloride ion is highly concentrated, chloride ion is discharged in preference to hydroxide ion. At the cathode, ion present are sodium ion and hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion is discharged in preference to sodium ion, even though Sodium ion is highly concentrated because the position of hydrogen ion and sodium ion in the hydrochemical series, the position is very, very far. Therefore, the influence of concentration is, is effective when the two competing ions are closely positioned in the in electrochemical series. Its effect is less important if the two competing ions are far apart in the series. The third factor is nature of electrode. This affects the product, the product of electrolysis in three ways. The first one, use of inert, inactive, or passive electrode. Inert electrode are electrodes that do not take part in electrolytic reaction. Hence, they do not affect the product at the electrode. Example, graphite and the platinum. These two electrodes they are inert, they are redundant to react, so they do not affect the product at the electrode. The second one is use of active metals as the anode. 
When a metal is used as the anode and the electrolyte is the salt of the metal, the metal is dissolved into the solution because less energy is required to remove electron from the atom of a metal in, its, in the solution of its salt. For example, in the electrolysis of copper to the resource of phases using copper anode. At the anode, we have SO42 ion from the copper to the resource of phases, the hydroxide ion from the solvent, which is water, and then the copper at the anode. In this electrolysis, it is expected that SO42 ion or hydroxide ion will be discharged at the anode. But if this is not so because of the nature of the anode that was used. The copper anode simply dissolves into solution and moves to the cathode where it gets electron and is discharged as copper metal. Therefore, in that electrolysis, nothing comes out of the anode. There is just a mere conversion of copper anode to copper metal, which is now discharged from the cathode. The last factor is use of mercury as the cathode. When mercury is when mercury cathode is used during electrolysis, for example, in the electrolysis of brine, remember again that brine is a concentrated solution of sodium chloride. The sodium and hydrogen, sodium from the salt and then hydrogen from the solvent. Two of them will migrate to the cathode. Mercury will react with sodium to form sodium amalgam. It is expected that hydrogen ion should be discharged from the cathode. But because of the use of mercury as the cathode and the formation of sodium amalgam, discharge of sodium now requires uh, less energy. Thus, sodium ion is discharged in preference to hydrogen ion because of the type of cathode that was used. My, my dear students, we have come to the end of the lesson and I hope the topic is well understood. I want to use this question to evaluate you. The first question is, what is electrolysis? The second one, draw and label a simple electrolytic cell. Number three, explain briefly the process of electrolysis. Finally, list three factors that determines the preferential discharge of ion through electrolysis. My dear students, for our next lesson, I would like you to read up the following. Electrolysis of one, acidified water. Acidified water means dilute the roses of phases acid. Two, electrolysis of brine. Brine means concentrated solution of sodium chloride. And lastly, electrolysis of copper two tetrosis of phases using different electrodes. And uh, in the previous lesson that I taught, I gave you assignments. Many of you wrote the assignments and submitted I've marked them and give you correction. Some of you are yet to write. Remember that we are recording these assignments. And I discovered that some of you will write the assignment without putting down their names. Please write the assignment, these assignments, and put your class and your names for easy marking and recording. My dear great students, write up your assignment and submit to my WhatsApp number 08036. 2713970 Thank you for listening.